This video covers common elements of a poster layout and examples of real posters highlighting what works well and what could be improved. A typical poster is formatted in three column or four column layout, however there are other options such as horizontal rows. When creating your poster you should go for about 40% white space or blank area. The white space contributes to readability and visual interest. 40% may sound like quite a bit of space, however posters are an overview and not detailed documents. The title and presenter names are typically at the top of the poster. You also want to make sure your sections are clearly blocked. Here is a basic example of a three column layout using section headings and white space to create distinction between the different sections. The general flow of the poster starts at the top left and goes in a vertical zigzag to the bottom right. One of the best ways to get a good sense of what does and does not work is to look at actual examples of posters. This is a commonly known example by Colin Purrington of a really bad poster. It displays everything you shouldn't do in a poster. In this example, the sections are clearly blocked, images and content are in proximity to each other, and there is a nice balance between content types, images, and text. What hinders this poster is the background image. It isn't set to a high enough transparency, so it competes with the poster content. You want to avoid that. In this four column layout, the main title area is clearly blocked, the section borders create good distinction, and there's a good use of white space. An improvement should be to add some images to create more of a visual interest. For this poster, the light gray background of the sections creates contrast to the lighter background. The section titles are bold and clear, and a good balance of text and images. An improvement would be creating more white space between the columns and sections. This poster is humanities focused. There's a good balance between text and images, and the color scheme matches the historical context. The biggest improvements that could be made are using larger text, creating a better connection between the images and text, and create greater contrast between the black and white photos and the dark background.